show me everything. 255 here, what up, what up? All right, so I'm going to cover the patch notes that interest me the most. And probably like two characters, uh, which is Nagaruki and Happy Chaos. And that's going to be it. So let's start with Rank Tower. Adjust rules for assigned floor changes. <coughs> to make it easier to match with players of the same skill level, the rule preventing players from falling below a certain floor, even after repeated losses based on a certain input techniques and floors previously reached has been eased. There have been no changes to the rules for rising floors. And I think that's a good idea because when you get to a new floor guilty gear, and maybe you're hitting a new skill level. Yeah, you're probably going to lose the first couple of matches because you're dealing with players on a higher level. To drop me right back down to players I clearly was better than was not great. But we'll have to see how it's um, played out. Players can now continue to rematch up to three matches, even if they assign four changes during a set. Yeah, I think that's good because that was pretty annoying, especially if you're having a, a pretty good match. All right, let's look at the battle changes. Character balance and bug fixes. Changes to game mechanics. These changes address the issue of the difficulty for the defender to launch a counter offensive due to the attacker remaining at an advantage for an extended time. And they made that same change to Dragon Ball Fighters where you had you in a corner blocking for like 30 seconds, 40 seconds, whatever the case is. That's, that's not good for the people watching. That's not good for the person on defense. It's only good for the person doing it. Tension gauge. Now increases more the higher character's risk level. This increases the reward for successfully making out of a dangerous situation and going on the offense. Tension gauge gain rate for the attacker no longer increases when the opponent blocks attacks while their risk level is at mask, max. Previously, the attacker's tense gauge would increase more and more as they continued their block streak after the defender blocked enough to reach mask max risk level. This change is intended to alleviate the difficulty, especially from defense to offense. So, more neutral heavy. Good. That's better. Uh, same thing I said before. Nobody wants to be blocking for, for 20 minutes. Risk level. The rate of risk level depletion over time is now faster. Previously, the defender was still being in a dangerous situation after initially escaping the opponent's offense as their risk level would not have decreased much at all. This change aims to alleviate this issue. Risk level now resets when Psych Burst is activated. Psych Burst is often used to escape dangerous situations when used with a high risk level. Though the player would still be in a dangerous situation even when successful, it would take major damage from a punish when it failed. This change helps prevent the use of Psych Burst from becoming overly limited by giving it a roll of a clear reset. Okay. Changes affecting all characters. As a general rule, these changes improve balance for areas where some characters notably excelled over others. Hurt Box, Forward Punch. The height of the hurt box as the attack comes out is now the same for all characters. The height of the hurt box was the same for all characters at the lowest point of the attack, but the hurt box height during startup varied between characters. Making the height of the hurt box as the attack comes out the same means that there is less of a difference in what strings each character can deal with. I think that's good too, and I like mechanics like that. Because certain characters have advantages they just should not have. And when you don't have the proper tools to deal with that, uh, it really makes the character unenjoyable. Special moves with retreating movement. These moves now cause attention balance to deplete and the negative value to increase. Similar to backdash, etc. This change aligns with the overall game direction by adding risk to retreating. Base damage scaling. Base damage scaling has been added to attacks that did not have it previously, with the exception of certain moves. This addresses the problem of some characters having moves used in similar ways, but with varying reward depending on whether or not the move had base damage scaling. 
Some moves such as close standing S still do not have base damage scaling, meaning they can lead into major damage just as before. Again, that's another move that's going to equal the gamma, and I like more stuff like that. Uh, you need more moves that balance things out so that people can enjoy the game more. You know, no one wants to sit and grind uh, certain characters and, and learn all these special setups. Some people just want to play the game and enjoy themselves. And for casual fans, that's what they really want, you know. People working full-time jobs, maybe they got families, and you want to enjoy a character, but you can't play the character because he's he, he's not viable or she's not viable because they're running up against Happy Chaos or Nagaruki, and they just don't stand a chance. No matter how good you grind that character, you just don't stand a chance. Most of the time, you're going to lose, so... I like things that balance the game out more. I think we all do, right? <clears throat> tension gauge. Increase the amount of tension gain when blocking attacks. The amount gain now increases more depending on your character's risk level. The amount of tension gain does not increase for attacking the character when an opponent with max risk level blocks their attacks. I mean, I may not stop them from attacking, but at least they're not gaining advantage for you blocking Increased rate of risk level depletion over time. Now recycle burst. Now resets risk level activation. Roman cancel. Input timing window is now the same when perform with attack buttons. Press simultaneously. And with the Roman cancel, there is now input buffer window when perform with the Roman cancel button. All right, so it made it easier to do. Fix the bug where the tension gauge would not deplete correctly when a roman cancel activated simultaneously with the super flash of certain moves for p we talked about that base damage scaling one of the things i say about base damage scaling is that if this means it's going to be less damage overall i don't think that was the purpose of strive that could be good because it rewards more skill instead of random play which a lot of people was complaining about Attack level is an indicator for an attack strength. With some exceptions, P and K attacks have a low attack level, whereas HS attacks and special moves tend to high, high level attacks. There are several benefits to a high attack level. Partial list means there's more. Extended knockback duration on hit. Increased block stun on block. Okay, that's good. Intens increased tension gains hit on block. Okay, so they still want to encourage us to use these moves even though they're... <coughs> <clears throat> not going to be doing as much damage uh, I don't understand this and I tried but here's what it says proximity requirement for attack to connect when a proximity requirement is added to an attack this means it will no longer connect unless within a defined range of the opponent's character position the range of the proximity requirement depends on the attack so this projector has changed in some way where it doesn't, I guess, stop working until it hits. I'm not really sure about this one. So I'll have to see when that comes out. Tension balance is an internal perimeter that affects the amount of tension gauge gained. The amount gained increases when your tension balance is high and increases when it's low. Tension balance increases when you move forward or an attack connects with the opponent and decreases when you create distance between yourself and the opponent. Such as by backdash. I like the changes to the tension balance gauge because it, it does reward defense and gives you more um, options. Negative value is an eternal perimeter increased by actions such as backdash or retreating movement. Yep. When it passes a set value, you enter danger state and your tension gauge depletes. If the state continues, you will trigger a negative penalty. Okay. Now, characters, I care about focusing on today is going to be this guy and this guy and depending on i might be switching um who i pay attention to let's so start with nagaruk nagaruki all right nagaruki's defense now varies with the current amount of blood gauge the damage and attack properties of his normal will still increase the higher his blood gauge gets but he now also takes heavier damage from the opponent, meaning he needs to consider any risk he takes in neutral. Um, I think that this 
makes you want to play Nagaruki more. And, and hear me out. Because it makes him fear. One of the things that made playing Nagaruki unfun was that I couldn't... I mean, I enjoyed my wins. But I couldn't enjoy my wins without having in the back of my mind, oh, your character is, you know, overbuffed. You know, the top five. They're SS tier. And... I personally would want more buff uh, nerves for Nagaruki just so that when I win with him, I can enjoy it more. That's what it is. Depending on how much damage he takes, again, looking at the blood gauge change, Nagaruki's defense now varies with the amount of blood gauge depending, depending on how much damage he takes. Well, depend on how much of a, of a change this matters or, or changes. Uh, crouching S, re increased recovery. Okay. Far standing S, final follow up, reduced recovery. Standing HS, reduced lower hitbox. Fukio. Now, that's definitely a nerf, right? It's a system mechanic nerf, but part of his, if, especially if you consider that damage output uh, on defense, right? If his tension, if his risk is going up and the damage he takes going up, using Fukio, you're going to have to be a lot more careful about, which is what they wanted, right? That's what they said. He needs to consider any risk he takes in neutral. So Nagaruki might be nerfed depending on that blood gauge. Now to our other friend, Mr. Chaos. Okay, happy Chaos. Jumping D now draws the opponent in, making it easier to lead to an advantageous situation for Chaos at close range. Uh, I hear from other players that wasn't really a big deal to begin with. I also play Happy Chaos. As 4K could be easily included in combos from any situation, it was extremely powerful maintaining offense on block. The attack startup has been increased. It no longer hits consecutively from crouching K, etc. Meaning different moves will be needed for different situations. That's fine, but I still feel like high level happy chaos players are gonna find a way around that and they're still gonna make your life miserable. However though, this looks like a buff, but it also looks like a nerf. Increased attack startup. Okay, we got why that would be a nerf. Now launches the opponent higher. This is going to either make it harder for him to do certain combos or it's going to make his conversion ability crazier because launching higher means you have more of an opportunity to juggle. That's what it could mean. Or it could mean that your opponent is knocked back farther and the combos you used to have access to, you no longer have access to. So that's what I'm wondering about with Happy Chaos. Depending on that, uh, it's going to really decide whether I drop the character or not. If it does, I think I'll go to uh, Kai. That'll be the next character I'll go to. But let's look at the rest of this. Okay, Ford S now launches the opponent higher. Okay, jumping D, we already talked about that. At the ready, reduce recovery with activate with no concentration. I think the idea here is so that when you press this button, you have no concentration, you don't get completely murdered. And when you're playing with Happy Chaos, yes, managing his risk gauges are not as hard as I thought they would be, but that literally gets you murdered. And especially with the new, and Laura Knight talked about this, uh, system mechanics being reduced, we don't want Happy Chaos running back because he loses tension, and we know that Happy Chaos needs tension. So we don't want that to happen. Cancel aim could now be activated with inputs. That'll, if that, that is a buff. Because uh, just going down, down from certain moves made it harder to do his combos. But now that they launch higher, maybe we'll have more time to cancel aim and go into some new combos. I don't know. But um, we're going to see if maybe they recreated his balance system. We'll see. Scapegoat now reduces tension balance, now increases negative value. Uh, curse now reduces tension balance, now increases negative value. And those are two pretty big moves, and they're essential to Happy Chaos's um, gameplay. Curse more, 
But what he's I, I can't see how this is not a nerf. Because at the ready, right? Or when he goes into his uh two three six S uh that depletes his gauge pretty fast. So I'm not sure. I'm really not sure how this is not a nerf. So ultimately, I'm going to say that Happy Chaos and um, Nago got nerfed. But I have to also say that they got buffed. And depending on the buffs that they received, well, Nago looks like he got more nerfed than buffed. But depending on the buffs that they received, it's going to make a huge difference. I might go back to Kai Kisuke. But they only gave him Guard Crush uh, buffs. So, in addition to the Guard Crush effect of Sacred Edge during Shock State and Dragon Install, allows him to maintain his office regardless of range. Photo Arc now creates less distance with the opponent on ground to hit, making it easier for Kai to continue his offense. It's a buff. Standing HS, expanded frontal hitbox. That's always good. What more range of moves? Um, we already talked about that. So, Sacred Edge during Shock State, that's Tension. So, those are both moves that are good on block. I use you an extra advantage, but considering that it takes half your tension gauge to do it, not really. I mean, it's welcome. It's a buff, but it really didn't change it too much. Anyway, 255 out, one.